Domo arigato, Mr. Sumoto Domo. So, anyways, so Sumon. Tetsumo. Tetsumo. Uh, this is Tetsumo, and it's. What would you call this? Like a party dance game? Party. I would. I wouldn't really call it a dance game. It's like it's got a certain genre. I can't think it's, of what yeah, it is. Yeah, it's competitive, like match game. Yeah, it's like competitive, competitive dance move game. Yeah, but so, you've seen I've seen this before. But this is the way this is done. I've seen this done in like a Mario Party game, and I think that's like the biggest thing about it. I've seen that other games have this, but this it's just the setting is kind of funny, and like the sound effects. It's, I feel like that really t makes this. Hilarious. I think it's a five dollar game. I don't remember. It might have gone on sale for three or two, one. But <laughs> it's there's a few different characters you can choose from, like a traditional sumo. There's like a dressed up ninja sumo. I think there was a samurai one. But yeah. There's a few blacked out, so we can't see them. Yeah, all. and I don't. We don't have unlocked them. But the funny part is, like each limb has like different motions, and like you can put it upwards or sideways and, and you have to you make sure they match and yeah. they, you have to make sure they match in time to the uh, to when they come to you because otherwise yeah. you're there's like a hit. shape that comes towards you and you have to match the shape with your yeah. sumo it otherwise reminds me a lot of like a Mario Party mini game yeah if, again this is another game where I think for five bucks you know and you want something funny and witty I don't think it's something that people really like these are the sort of games you just stumble on, I think, usually, or your friend tells you about it, because I've not had anyone tell me about this game. I just find games when I'm browsing randomly, usually, more than anything else now. I think for five bucks, it's, it's fairly decent, but we're not really having a party today, so that's why... It's kind of like, yeah, we just played, like, three like games. Ten minutes, yeah. Yeah, we just played, like, three, three games. It's not horrible, it's like, but I think... I think it's only two players, right? It's not four, like Jumanji. I think four. I think it does. I actually think like you. We could actually. It I think like play there were two more. Yeah, I think. I think there were two more spaces for four player, but. I think it's fun. If you were, if it was a drinking game, I think this is more of a drinking game than, if I remember the title. Uh, Maybe I'll think of a different game, but it feels like more of a drinking party game than then, something you play for five minutes. Yeah, the, or this could be like a mystery game for like those mystery compet competition games where it's like... Yeah, that's why I feel like it, it's not really a game you play for like an hour or three hours. Or it's more time. like a game that's like just, in like a roulette of like mystery games that you play in a yeah, tournament. Yeah, and I wouldn't even say this is a con game because I don't think this... Like I think it would be fun at a con. But, but I don't think it would yeah, be like doesn't carry the same. You wouldn't same, advertise uh, it as yeah. It wouldn't carry itself in the same way like say um, the slimes fight, the blobs fight. Yeah, we had we enjoyed that game, slimes yeah. world or whatever. Super yeah, slime or like party, even Bomberman. Was. Like one of the yeah. games we made at an actual con game at a convention. Yeah, because everyone knows about Bomberman. Not many people know about like Tetsumo. It's like what the heck is that? Yeah, I I think at best it feels like it feels like, like it should be like even a, if you went with Garfield Kart Racing Two, which is now a thing. They they made two of them now, guys. I need the so fuck. This, <laughs> what? Yeah, they actually made a sequel. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll add it to my wish list. Why not? For eventually when it goes on sale. Like, there's games that are magnets, like people magnets, and then there's some games that are quirky and interesting, but I just feel like this, this, is, like this is interesting, but it's not going to grab your attention. Yeah, and uh, I just... I think the, the art style and the sounds are really what attract this game. The gameplay, the design's okay, but as you said, like it's it's like a two minute thing. It's not like something you would play. Like for we played forever. for like three games, and it's like we got it. Yeah, we got it. I think if, it, if if we had a more competitive environment and more people, and we were taking turns, then yeah, I think it would be more fun. But yeah, but as it is, it's like I get this bucks. a five out of ten. I I'd, I'd say like you know five or six. It's not super exciting. Um, it's, in some ways, it was more exciting than Jumanji for me. But I I just found Jumanji at least it was funny 
Um, and like it does give you, you a little more. A lot you. more. Yeah, you can explore more in Jumanji. And this, it's like. But with this, is, it's like it's you, exactly you can it. just play like either competitively or even solo. We saw. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I think it's cool. I think the quirky games are good, but they need to they need to have that extra bit to unlock or something like so, an something extra that game. would give you a like hook. Star Wall. Star Wall, you can keep playing over and over again. I just feel like as an indie game, this is not like that. Yeah, you can't keep coming back to it. You don't feel compelled to it. Yeah, but it's not bad. Yeah, it's not horrible. It just it doesn't it's just it not, doesn't have that doesn't limit. pull you in like the other games. Yeah, exactly. So let's sumo, sumo on. Super duper sumos. Sumo fighting. Cha!